protect your nuts. So uh, Uncivilized Vitality, Uncivilized Boxing Series, I'm not sure what number we're up to, but this is still in the basic, basic defensive techniques you can use, uh, slip, slaps, and shields. So you can slip, I'm here with Mark. Uh, Mark's gonna throw some punches at me. Uh, been waiting all week for it, probably. Uh, slip, slap, shields, avoid the force at all. Uh, cost by slipping, pulling, ducking, rocking, bouncing, different moves we've talked about in some of the other videos. And then you can use some slaps, which are basically parries or just a basic jab catch or a cuff and moving that punch out of the way. A lot of times deliberately to open up uh, an area on your opponent where you can throw a punch. Okay. The next level is going to be just trying to dissipate the force over your frame as opposed to just your face or your jaw or your uh, torso. So this time Mark throws a punch and he's just gonna throw a jab. We're gonna hold it out there. So he throws a jab and I wasn't, uh, I wasn't ready in order to pull up, to get a pull, to get a slip. I wasn't that fast. I wasn't maybe reactive enough to get a jab catch or something in the way. I'm just gonna have to eat this punch. So the jab is coming straight in. I can use a jab catch. He throws a right rear. That's gonna be too powerful for me just to throw a catch. I can try to cuff it out of the way but it's still gonna to be too strong. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the right rear. I'm gonna turn my body and I'm gonna eat this in a high side shield. So I'll show you the shields from the side. So I'm out, get a little conventional. I'm boxing, this is shield. I'm in my stance. I'm just gonna bring my glove up to the side of my head so that my cheek is against my forearm, my gloves covering my head, and my elbow's not up, leaving this open. I'm down here like this. I just run my glove up, it does open up the space a little bit, but it's only gonna be this quick. Cover, back down. Cover, back down. Cover, back down. Cover, back down. The low side shield is just gonna be bringing my elbow down to my hip, so it's off my, off my face just for a brief moment, just to absorb some impact. Real slow, Mark's gonna throw a lead hook to my body. Instead of eating that in the liver, I'm just gonna bring that shield down and catch it on the arm. Better on the arm than in the liver. So this is the simple shield. He throws a hook. I'm just gonna bring it down. Bring it down. He throws a hook to my head. Instead of letting him hit me in the side of the head, go ahead and do it again. Bam. I'm not gonna be able to take that. That's the whole point of boxing. So I'm gonna shield, All right? I couldn't avoid it. I couldn't mitigate the force. I'm just gonna have to eat that one. I'm gonna try to minimize the damage by spreading it out over my entire frame, by sliding my head down behind my glove, hiding glove against my face so he doesn't hit my arm and my arm hits me hiding back here down nice and tight I've, I've tightened up my body now I've uh, instead of taking Mark's punch with just my neck muscles now I've got my lats my pack my traps my whole torso involved boom so I can take a little bit of a punch um, we'll do a video with combinations that's the next set in this series and I'm gonna let uh, we're gonna eat a few punches and see what that looks like so Mark's gonna throw uh, he's throwing jabs at me I'm just catching those jabs. I don't really have to shield a jab. <laughs> you don't need to shield the jab. Mark throws a straight right hand. I might decide I've got to have to shield up on that band, right? All right, taking that. Mark throws a hook to the body, right? low side shield, and just like that. Just bring my elbow down and take that. I don't want to eat that in the, in the liver. Now there are some older, remember this is for basic boxing, just so you can have some fun doing the drills. Uh, you can play a game where your partner tries to so Mark's up here. So I'm gonna to try to touch the side of Mark's head or his, his ribs, and he's just gonna pull those shields down, right? I'm just, re just playing a little slap boxing, right? Right, just a little slap boxing. Mark's got those shields. You know, as Mark doesn't have to warm up or do anything because he's using a natural reaction called a flinch. Something comes toward you, right? What do you do? You flinch. Don't fight that instinct, flinch. Just flinch on purpose so you can get into a better position. Mark throws a right rear to my head, I flinch, and then I can move around, I can crowd, I can slip to the outside and cut angles, do lots of different things. Get in a better position. Uh, if Mark's throwing a flurry, I can get in there and throw a bunch of shields to protect myself for a minute. Side shields are either high or low. High side shields, low, and I'm still in my stance. Right? I can cuff and catch by turning my gloves out off my face a little. I can slip by moving my entire body. Uh, there are two more shield. Damn it, I always do air quotes with my gloves on in these videos. So that's an example of stuff we should edit out. Uh, other shields we can do that are the vertical and the horizontal shield. These are old school, maybe bare knuckle boxing. So Mark throws, uh, he's gonna throw a big right to my, my face. Sometimes I can just 
cover up. This happens more in, in um, real fights as opposed to boxing match where somebody's gonna fling like a haymaker. I'm just gonna protect myself, right, by bringing my gloves up, palm toward my head, bracing my, bracing my palms, my forehead, and tightening my torso up. Give me a good punch right in the face. And just like harder, 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 like that. So I can spread that punch out over the frame by not, I mean, if I let Mark just punch me in the face like that, that's only gonna be a couple, I don't like that. So I throw that little frame up there. Mark's throwing an uppercut, right? I can drop one of my hands down and shield this way. Mark, maybe we're in close and Mark's trying to throw a knee. He's grabbed the back of my head and he throws a knee. I can bring both hands down and shield with that horizontal shield. Or, <clears throat> uh, I've had chairs thrown at me before. Vertical shield is just a flinch. It's just like, yikes, put your hands up, down you go. Someone tries to hit you in the stomach more than once, you can shield by dropping these down. And that's if they've committed to the uppercut or the knee. You wouldn't block an uppercut from a professional boxer or someone that throws good punches by bringing both arms down and leaving your head open. So we'll go slow, come a little closer. So Mark sees the uppercut coming and he drops that horizontal shield, bop, right? I'm gonna hit him with the other hand. So side shields are for, this is how you mitigate the force when you're being punched. You can practice that with your, your siblings, if your parents let you do it, uh, or your partner. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna slap box. I'm just gonna reach out and tag. Mark, I'll even take my gloves off so you guys can see the impact. Mark gets to practice his side shields. We're playing a game of I'm gonna try to touch his ears or his ribs, right? Just like that. We just move around and Mark's all flinched up like a, like a true turtle, right? Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> that was a good one. So high side shield, low side shield, the vertical, the vertical and the horizontal shields. You can use those to kind of start defending yourself when you're boxing a little bit. Super, super basic uh, slip slap shields. Next video uh, series, we'll do a couple combos and some heavy bag work so you can start to um, <clears throat> practice more of your boxing skills at home for self-defense or just for fun. Uh, so that's it. Like, comment, subscribe below. Um, no trolls. It's just basic boxing for fun.